Hello, I am Shukanto Shahab from Kabho. Today I am going to show you how to set up a Gluster automatic file replication with multi-storage server with multiple Gluster native client within a single click. To do this, let's log in to the iMode application page and deploy a system. So this is the imod.kavo.com website from where you can deploy a system. Okay, so let's log into this application. So this is our entire dashboard page from where you can deploy a system. So there are three ways for deploy a system. Number one is deploy from template. We have uh, some example template, sample template. So you can choose any template and deploy from here. Another is define a new system using our wizard and you can deploy a system. And the third one is import a system. If you have a system definition file already in your machine, then you can import this by clicking this import system. This is basically a browse button and it will automatically deploy the system into our application. But in our case, we are going to deploy it from our existing template. So I'm going to choose the cluster sample deployment for EC2. So let's deploy this template. Before deploy, deploying this system, you, you have to put a name of the system. So I'm going to put a name for this system. So here, cluster file replication demo once the system is deployed it will show the deployed system on the left hand side so here you can find this system is deployed and it is now unconfigured state So unconfigured means the servers are not configured. So before starting this system, you have to configure it and then you have to start this system. So let's configure these servers. Here we have edit configure. You have to choose a AWS account. I have several accounts. So I choose Kabo support. and instance type is m1 large so basically m1 large is 64 bit images so we are using 64 bit images and ami id is here uh, in this sample template we are using centos 5.4 64 bit images image basically we are installing the cluster from the source file so it doesn't matter uh, you can choose any any Linux flavor, whether Ubuntu or Fedora or Linux. Then you have to choose a key pair, security group, and availability zone. And then click on the configure. Same with this.
so this system is consist with two tier system in one tier it is, we are we are called storage tier here we put two storage server storage server one and to storage server two and in another tier we call client tier and there we put two cluster native client here we also going to show you the auto recovery for storage servers so we are we are going to set the auto recovery event from the monitoring system so before starting this system we have to set the event from the monitoring page so let's do this thing and then we start this system okay so configure system event first you have to select the system so our system name is cluster file replication demo then you have to choose the server where the event will be execute in our case we want the event should execute on the storage tier so we choose the we checked on the storage tier and the server and then choose the event name so our event name should be storage server recovering this is the event for recovering the storage server so we choose this one then comment is optional then the event type event type should be non-aggregate and the threshold type threshold type should be ping to the server so that it will ping the server and when the server is going to die or terminated then the event will be triggered and then click the submit okay event was successfully created okay let's move on to the entire dashboard page and start this system systems are coming up all servers are pending now so here we take like two storage server and two cluster client native client but if you if you want to increase the number of the server you can easily increase it uh, I'll show you how to increase it in the system definition file we have a tag for startup count so right now startup count is two so if you want to start uh, make it that there, there should be three client then you have to make it three but the startup count should be in between min and max value i mean this should not be beyond the max value and uh, should not be minimum the minimum value so in, in the same way this is the startup count for storage server so if you want to increase the storage server just change the startup count value okay so while the systems are coming up and running let's take a look some of the actions and events which we are using here so let's go to the action tab 
so there are so many actions let's check one of the actions this is the install cluster server action so actions are basically two types one is uh, one uh, one is uh, we if you if, uh, certain kind of command which we need to execute on the server so we put into a file and make it executable by by checked this checkbox so this file will be execute on a specified server location and then the commands are getting executed so this is the name of the actions this is description this is target target means destination in this case this is the storage chair and server role is server and this is the script which is getting executed and this is the path where this script will be copied and getting executed you can also pass the parameter here the parameter is literal and server reference so if you put the server reference the server id and the server ip is automatically getting replicated and this ip will be will be gone to the configuration file let's check another kind of actions this is create create cluster fsd for server this is the simple this is the simple configuration file for for cluster so this action is not executable it is just copy this configuration file to a specific specified location so in this case the specified location is etc cluster fs so this configuration file is getting copied to this specified location there is a log tab also is there you can see the log and you can see what's going on to the server so right now it is installing cluster file system on server like this server this is the instance id of the server so three servers are running and one is up so it will take some more time like 3 to 4 minute to completely running the system so let let's take look on some of the events so events are basically two types standard and custom standard events like starting system shutdown system these are the standard kind of events and custom events like scaling up event like uh, here we create like storage server overload storage server recovering storage server under underused means scaling down so scale up scaling down recovery this kind of events are custom events let's take a look on one custom event basically custom events are are a, consist of a, a group of actions so in in this event like storage server overload let's check what actions are there in this event so here you can see this these actions are getting called when the ev event is triggered like remove cluster file system cluster fs file system remove cluster fs file system from server these are the actions and you can pass the parameter from here to the specified actions okay so the system is completely running here we can see it is running state okay the system is now running let's do some testing 
on the on this server right now these servers are totally empty our client has mounted the volume using gluster native protocol and the mounted path is mnt gluster fs and the exported directory in the storage tier is data export so let's check the directory first to the client end This is one of the cluster native client. So I am going to connect the console application. Okay, so here you can see the cluster is running and it is mount mounted. The mount path is MNT cluster cluster FS. Right now it is empty. So let's create some files here and then we can see how it is getting automatically replicated to the storage server but before that let's check one of the storage server Here you can see the cluster is also running and our exported directory is data export and right now it is empty. So let's create file on the cluster client side. So I have a event for that for creating files on the cluster native client. The event name is generate file for stress test. Let's fire this event. This is a simple script which will continuously create one MB file into two depth hierarchy hierarchical directory structure and hundred files will be created per directory. So the event is getting triggered and let's check the log and see wait for completion of the event here you can see the log generating files to see how many files can be created in 30 second on server this so there are two client and the trigger will be execute on both the client let's refresh this log there is another one Okay, event is successfully completed. So let's check. See here, 
two directories are created let's check one of the directory see 100 files are created with 1 MB size so this is the client end let's check on the storage server end see here two directories are created and 100 files are also getting created on each directory so you can see how files are getting replicated let's test the auto recovery thing so to do the auto recovery we have to kill one of the storage server outside of the iMode application and then we can see the trigger will be automatically fired and a new server will came up so let's kill one of the server go to the elastic fox terminate this server server is not terminated see here it is shut down state so it will take like uh, 60 to 90 second to know that uh, server is terminated and then the trigger will be fired see here the event is getting fired and one of the server is on pending state let's check the log storage server is recovery and the server is pending now So once this server is fully fully on the running state the whatever the file we have created on the client client side this files is getting automatically replicated to this new storage server so that's all from my side thank you for watching this goodbye